Hello YouTube, we're going to shorten the barrel down so we're showing you this lip in here and then we're going to come out here and show you if we find a marker line. This is how far this lip goes down in here. Okay, you can actually see a line in here. We're going to grind a little bit of the grinder till we find it. There's actually an indent. We're going to cut this off and shorten this barrel. In order to shorten it, we're going to get rid of this rib. We'll be cutting it right here. <clears throat> so it'll look like if you've ever seen the videos of my stove, in the work shed, but this one we're going to use angle iron to put the stove kit on because it's like 21 inches long. Well, the top of these is about 22 inches, so you're not losing any depth putting your wood into it. This has hydraulic oil in it, it's been sitting this way, so we're going to cut the top off. The last we cut the back off, it doesn't matter. Then we'll throw some paper down in there and burn the oil. It had hydraulic oil in it uh, from the John Deere implement dealer so that's what color these usually are it's like a brown color so take a couple photos this will be in a video somewhere of uh, this project we're just getting this on film I still call it while we can so thanks for watching this part okay this is that lip this is your inside lip right here about three quarters inch down so we'll scribe that we'll use one of our caliper tools or something whatever you got you can scribe this is the lip so we're going to cut here and we'll grind this barrel off that way we have it in our hands we're not you know messing with it on here we just want to get the top cut off because we're in a short barrel so we're only wasting any the metal here and the rest we use the scrap we're down in here so scrapper for fabricating but you get the idea and we never did ever it wasn't on YouTube when we made our stove for the sheds we want to show how you can cut cut these barrels down and shorten them but that's it that's that inside lip I just took a big old grinder disc just gouge around not worried about a fire it's just oil in there the worst it could do is start smoking so back to work I said I don't know what this video what these video clips will be in it'll be in part of making this stove Okay, the top's cut off. You can see that's the bottom of your lip. We'll cut this off later. You you may find there's epoxy in there, like a JB Weld stuff. There we get over here. We'll take a photo of that. We did bump into that a little bit, but you'll feel it because you'll feel like you're cutting too deep. So just back off and pretend like you're a can opener. Don't cut into this. We'll end up filling the holes of it, which we didn't hurt any. We didn't hurt any of that. You can see that. There's some oil down there. We may let it drain in a bucket overnight. We may just light a fire in this thing. But it has been pretty dry, so let's get out the garden hose. We're going to start a fire. Here you go. Take a couple photos and on with the project. Okay, just cut in here carefully, a little at a time. And you'll start peeling this out of here. You'll tell that you're cutting too deep because it'll be harder to cut into here than this stuff. Best advice I'd give you how to get this out. I just found it's easier to do this way. Just cut it, get it off the barrel, take this off where you can work at it at your own convenience. I got that piece of pipe in here and I've got it up here in the vise. So whatever, whatever it takes. Okay, back to work. Okay, we thought we'd get here in the shade and get a close-up. We took a sander flopper disc this. We're still going to take one of those cutter discs and just go along that groove. Because when you put this in the barrel, you're going to be welding it to this piece and to the barrel. So we don't want any contaminants. So we'll still get down there with a, another blade, thin, something to clean that out. So we even did all the way around the top. So here you go. I get some shots of this here.